All right, I went ahead and I drained all the oil out of this pipe. Uh, the main tank, the sump, and of course the uh, primary case. I put uh, 10 ounces of oil into the primary, six ounces of oil into the sump through the uh, top dead center timing plug, and the remainder into the main tank. And it's sitting here in this island. I've got good oil flow. new pristine oil. It is oil that's made for wet carp, specifically, 2050 weight. I'm going to let it sit here and uh, just idle for a while. going to do in a few minutes is um, pull this side cover over here, this cover and this cover, and see where this vent tube is sliced together behind it. And make sure it's a good tight slice and maybe put a clamp on it if it doesn't have one. Uh, and we'll talk more about this after that. I got the side covers plural off and here's the um, the vent hose that goes from the uh, primary and it goes out here and sizes down to this hose which then goes out the back of the bike and I think I'm just gonna take all of this part clean the heck out of it put another clamp here because there should be a clamp there and uh, see if it doesn't look a little better All right, so here's the whole breather tube. Uh, let's see if we can't clean it up some. All right, so I've got the uh, full breather assembly and hose off, and I have it over here, and I started taking it apart. And this little guy here, which converts this to this, like so, uh, is broken. This pipe here that came off used to have a pipe that would come off and go way up to the front of the bike, meaning from about here all the way up here, following the frame, all the way up to a fitting up in here and vent the oil back into the frame oil tank. Well, it's not. It's not. And I stuck my finger up here and I can feel the fitting. The fitting is completely without tubing. Sun's tubing. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Here is the plan of the day du jour, which is redund redundant. Uh, sort of like we have a place here in Phoenix called Table Mesa, which is Table Table. We have another place called Picacho Peak, which is Peak Peak. Uh, both of those were named by the Arizona Department of Redundant Names Department. So just a local, little local color. All right, so uh, since this is, this, this, con this connector here is broken, I'm gonna order a new one. And as long as I'm gonna order a new one, I'm gonna order this part new. And as long as I'm ordering this part new, I'm gonna order this part new because it's just ugly and hard as a rock. So I'll reuse, hello, somebody's moving trash cans. I will use these clamps. I'll clean them up and I'll get one more clamp. But, um, so I'm going to order this stuff. I, I should get it back, get it here before Kevin comes back. Now, once Kevin is here, we're going to do a test ride. And uh, enough of a test ride so that whatever is supposed to fill up in here will fill up in here. 
and then we'll bring it back and I will open this cover to see where the oil level is, just to find out if it really does self-settle, self-level down here at the edge of this cover. So that's the plan. So basically the bike isn't gonna go anywhere, do anything, we're not gonna do anything to the bike overtly until after Kevin gets back. In the meantime, I'm just gonna replace this whole breather system. And that's the way it is here on Griswold Road where the men are all really strange. The women are spectacularly beautiful and the children are cute as a bug. My next door neighbor just had a little baby and it is so cute, about the size of a football and just a little angel. My youngest is in her 50s and I've got great grandchildren. Can you believe it? So anyway, uh, that's the plan of the day du jour, so to speak. All right, a little follow-up opinion on this system where it takes the air-oil mixture out of the sump into this primary, out the primary vent here, about this far out, and then it splits off the T and goes to the, oh, the oil goes to the front and the vapor or pressure goes out the rear of the bike. Uh, totally ridiculous because there's absolutely nothing, there's no um, positive crankcase ventilation valve to actually direct the oil way up here into the top of the tank. Uh, there's no reason why it should even want to. But I'll bet you this system was in response to a government a regulation saying that they were no longer allowed to just vent the sump on engines out onto the ground, which is what the previous versions did for all practical purposes. Uh, cars used to have just a crankcase vent that just came right out of the uh, top of the motor and went straight down to the ground. That's why America never had rusty roads. Anyway, so I would bet you a buck that this little T-fitting in this uh, sump assembly, sump breather assembly, it was in response to a federal requirement, and this was their way of uh, complying with it without actually doing anything. But that's just the way it is. That's my own humble opinion. So anyway, I'm going to put it back to stock. I don't like things that are... Um, modified and <laughs> unless I'm the guy who's modifying them. So as long as the bike is here, I'm going to put it back the way they designed it and uh, with all new clean components because these are just too old, crystallized, hard as a rock, unbendable, and I'm just going to get new bits.